Terraform Voctra. What is IAC? Infrastructure as code, IAC, means to manage your IT infrastructure using configuration files. Why IAC? Historically, managing IT infrastructure was a manual process. People would physically put servers in place and configure them. Only after the machines were configured to the correct settings required by the OS and dependencies would those people deploy the application. Businesses are making a transition where traditionally managed infrastructure can no longer meet the demands of today's businesses. IT Organizations are quickly adopting the public cloud, which is predominantly API-driven. To meet customer demands and save costs, application teams are architecting their applications to support a much higher level of elasticity. Supporting technology like containers and public cloud resources. These resources may only live for a matter of hours, therefore the traditional method of raising a ticket to request resources is no longer a viable option. Benefits of IAC Heed. IAC benefits a company's IT architecture and workflow as it uses automation to substantially increase the provisioning speed of the infrastructure. S. Development, Testing, and Production Consistency Since it is code, it generates the same result every time. It provisions the same environment every time, enabling improved infrastructure. Consistency at all times. Cost One of the main benefits of IAC is, without a doubt, lowering the costs of infrastructure management. With everything automated and organized, Engineers save up on time and cost which can be wisely invested in performing other manual tasks and higher value jobs. Minimum Risk IAC allows server configuration that can be documented, logged, and tracked later for reference. Configuration files will be reviewed by a person. Or policy as a code, Sentinel, for security leakages. Everything codified. The main benefit of IAC is explicit coding to configure files in use. You can share codes with the team, test them to ensure accuracy, maintain uniformity and update your infrastructure into the same flow of IAC. Version controlled, integrated. Since the infrastructure configurations are codified, we can check in into version control like GitHub and start versioning it. IAC allows you to track and give insight on what, who, when, and why anything changed in the process of deployment. This has more transparency which we lack in traditional infrastructure management. Now, we know what is infrastructure as code means. Now let's deep dive into Terraform. Terraform Terraform is a tool for building, changing, and versioning infrastructure safely and efficiently. Terraform can manage existing and popular service providers as well as custom in-house solutions. Provider a provider is responsible for understanding API interactions and exposing resources. Most of the available providers correspond to one cloud or on-premises infrastructure platform and offers resource types that correspond to each of the features of that platform. In order to make a provider available on Terraform, we need to make a Terraform INIT. These commands download any plugins we need for our providers. If, for example, we need to copy the plugin directory manually, we can do it, moving the files to .terraform.d plugins. Provider, ours. Region is equal to, us east 1. 
If the plugin is already installed, Terraform INIT will not download again unless to upgrade the version, run Terraform INIT upgrade. Multiple providers You can optionally define multiple configurations for the same provider, and select which one to use on a per resource or per module basis. Hush default configuration Provider, ours Region is equal to, us east 1 Hush reference this as ours.west Provider, ours Alias is equal to, west Region is equal to, us west 2 Versioning the required underscore version setting can be used to constrain which version of the Terraform CLI can be used with your configuration. If the running version of Terraform doesn't match the constraints specified, Terraform will produce an error and exit without taking any further actions. Terraform required underscore version is equal to is equal to 0.12. The value for required underscore version is a string containing a comma separated list of constraints. Each constraint is an operator followed by a version number, such as 0.12.0. .0. The following constraint operators are allowed. Or no operator exact version equality. Version not equal. Is equal to, is equal to. Version comparison, where, greater than, is a larger version number. Pessimistic constraint operator, constraining both the oldest and newest version allowed. For example, tilde, 0.9 is equivalent to, is equal to, 0.9, 1.0, and tilde, 0.8.4, is equivalent to, is equal to 0 0.8.4, 0 0.9. We can also specify a provider version requirement. Provider, ours. Region is equal to, us east 1. Version is equal to, is equal to 2nd September 2000. Terraform workflow. Basic flow. Terraform INIT. The Terraform INIT command is used to initialize a working directory containing Terraform configuration files. During INIT, the configuration is searched for module blocks, and the source code for referenced modules is retrieved from the locations given in their source arguments. Terraform must initialize the provider before it can be used. Initialization downloads and installs the provider's plugin so that it can later be executed. Initializes the backend configuration. It will not create any sample files like http 